Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Spigot series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to develop a Spigot or Bucket plugin for any version above 1.8. Okay guys, so the last video I recorded um, showed you how to pass the instance of the plugin to another class using a magic. In this episode, I'm gonna show you another highly requested uh, thing that people wonder how to do, which is how to develop plugins for most versions of Minecraft that are not already available within the Minecraft plugin on IntelliJ. So if we go to File, New, Project, and we go to Minecraft down here like we usually do and go to Bucket or Spigot, doesn't matter which one you use really um, because you'll see. So anyway, the project SDK. So if you're using a version below, you know, 1.16.5 or something like that, then you probably want to use Java 8. Um, but does it matter? I think it only, it only really matters when you have a server that's not running Java 16. So let's say that you compile your plugin in Java 16, but it's running on a server that's running with Java 8 your plugin is not going to work because since the server is using Java 8, it's not going to be able to run Java 16 plugins. So make sure that when you compile your plugins using a specific version, your server has that version supported essentially. So in this case, it doesn't really matter which version I use, uh, but since you know one, before 1.16, Java 8 was the standard pretty much, um, I think we're going to use that for this. But again, it shouldn't matter. But um, 1.8 right here is how you can change that if you want to. Then we go to next. And I can just put a random group ID, Cody Simpson. I like boobies, I mean, uh, 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 trees. And then for this, I usually select Maven, but you can do great if you want to. This uh, will show you how to do Maven specifically in this tutorial. Okay, so here, when we usually select the Minecraft version, you either leave it on the default, which is the latest usually, or you can go all the way down to 1.12. But what if you want to develop a plugin for 1.11, 1.10, 1.9, 1.8? You can't do that using this at least. So if you do want to do that, just select any version at all. It doesn't matter which version you select and then create the plugin. Okay, so we're going to make, we'll, we'll call this uh, I like trees. There we go. So now we're going to create a new I like trees IntelliJ project with the Minecraft development plugin and it should use whatever version we just selected. I don't even remember what I selected, but it doesn't matter. So now that that's done, uh, let's go down to palm.net XML. And in the palm.net XML, we can see that, well, first of all, we're using Java 8, which is interesting. Um, we can change that if we need to, but we want to use Java 8 in this case. And then down here, this is where you usually find your dependency, your spigot dependency or your bucket dependency. Now, in this case, it's 1.17, just because that's what we selected a second ago when creating the project. This is what, when you use the MC development plugin, this is created all for you. Um, this is just a Maven project, okay? Uh, it's an IntelliJ project, a Java project, but it's using Maven to bring the dependencies in and then compile the plugin and all that, all right? And that's what, so that's what Maven does for you. So this means that if you want to use a different version, all you have to do is change the dependency, okay? So let's see how we can do that. Usually you can just do it by memory if you happen to know what it is already. You can, let's say we want to use version 1.16.5, we can just change it to 1.16.5 and that should be good enough. So just click the Maven reload button after making any changes. And it should bring in that dependency by downloading it from the interwebs onto your computer so that you can use it and code using that, that version of the Spigot API. Now, if you want to use a other version that is lower than 1.12, you know, not supported by the MC development plugin on creation, you can go to our Discord. If you're not in our Discord, then click the link in the description below and then go to resources. And then here I have for developing any bucket version, click this link. And then you have all these different links here, all these versions here. And you can see that you have 1.8.8, 1.9, 1.9.2, .9 all the way up to the recent version, all right? So let's say that if we do want to use 1.8 or 1.8.8, .8, then we can click that and we'll open this link here and we can find all the dependency information we need. So we can just copy this dependency and this dependency, put it into our project, and we should be able to use the bucket and the Spigot API for 1.8.8. .8. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this, these dependencies here. So copy that and go back to your spigot project and just replace this one with these. And then click the Maven reload button here and let's see what happens. There we go. So it looks like everything is nominal. It's working correctly. So no red errors or anything like that. So is, that means that it was able to bring in the spigot API dependency as well as the bucket dependency. So you can use the bucket API. Now, if you wanna test this out, then let's just go back to our project and hopefully there's no errors or anything like that. Anything like that. 
So it looks like it's uh, all importing successfully. If we try running this, um, what it's going to do is try uh, building it using Maven and you know compiling it to a jar file and all that. So let's see if that still works. So it's building it, compiling it, and looks all good. All right, cool. So yeah, that's how you can do that. A quick uh, point here, you know, when I brought in these two dependencies here, I brought in both because I'm a ding dong, but y'all are not ding dong, so don't do both at the same time. That doesn't make a lot of sense because hopefully by now, or unless you're a beginner in this series, you should know that Spigot API includes Bucket. So when you bring in both, you're technically bringing in Bucket twice, which really doesn't make a lot of sense. So if you just comment out the one you need, or comment out the one you don't need, so for example, if I want both Spigot and Bucket API in my project, then just comment out the Bucket one here. So now it still works. None of this is red anymore because uh, again, Spigot includes Bucket. Now if I, for some reason, just want to use Bucket within my project, then I can comment out this one here. Sorry if you hear the screaming in the background. The person in my basement is trying to escape right now. All right, so now I'm only using Bucket. Of course, I need to click the Maven Reload button here. And look, no red errors, anything like that, because of course Bucket has Bucket, that makes sense. But this means that I can no longer use any Spigot uh, stuff. So let's say that, um, what's something that I can do only with Spigot? Let's try something like player um, p is equal to new, we'll just set it to null. And then if we do p.spigot, we can't do that. That's a method we can usually do with Spigot. So it says cannot resolve method Spigot in player. Now if we go to Pomodoro XML and re-implement or re you know, add the spigot dependency and comment this one back out. Now we can use both bucket and spigot, hopefully. There we go. And now that's a known method because spigot obviously has spigot stuff within it. This is part of the spigot API. So it's adding on to bucket. All right, so that's a quick little correction there. Make sure that you only use the dependency you need. It doesn't make sense to bring in both at the same time. All right. And of course, when you put this plugin on your test server, make sure that you're actually using uh, version 1.8.8, .8, not 1.16.5 or 1.17.1, obviously, but you may forget. Um, I tend to do things like that myself. So anyway, so it's a pretty simple process. If you want to use a different version, all you got to do is go to this, uh, this link here. Again, that's in my resources channel and then click any of the versions you want. And then it'll give you the information you need to use that version with your plugin. All right. If you don't want to use a Maven project, again, Maven is just something that helps you out by bringing in dependencies and building your project for you. You can, of course, use Gradle. Same thing. Just go ahead and find the Gradle dependency if there is one for 1.8.8 .8 or any version that you want to use. Or even better, if you don't want to use Maven or Gradle at all, you just want to bring in the dependency manually, the jar file dependency. You can create a new IntelliJ project. You can uh, import the, the jar file wherever you download that from, and you can use it regular. It doesn't matter. Maven's just a tool, just remember that. And otherwise, if you do want to use Maven, but you don't want to use the MC development plugin for some reason, I think you should because it's just easier and it creates a template for you. You can just create a, uh, a template Maven project using IntelliJ if you want to. And then that will, that will require more setup though. So that's the downside of doing that. But yeah, there's options for you. But again, my recommended way is to use the MC development plugin you know, use any version, select any version when you're creating the project, and then you can change that whenever you want and you won't have any issues usually, okay? So yeah. Anyway, so I hope you found this short video helpful. Um, if it did, hit that like button. If, if there's anything else you wanna see, then please let me know. I'm happy to show you guys anything you need to succeed. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos, all right?